Hey guys, welcome to SMW, coming to you live from Baconstoke, England. I am your host, Wes Lynn. First up, we have Mr. Perfect defending the YouTube Championship against Bam Bam Bigelow. We also have Diesel versus the 123 Kid, the Brotherhood versus the Bushwhackers, and Jim Nineheart versus the Macho Man. Our main event of the morning is an eight woman battle royale for the SMW Women's Championship. But like I said, first up we have Mr. Perfect defending that belt right there, the YouTube Championship against Bam Bam Bigelow. Mr. Perfect with a few good title defense under his belt. He goes straight in with a drop kick, cannot take Bam Bam Bigelow off his feet and Bam Bam Bigelow taking him straight up for a suplex and dropping him right on the back of his head. Bam Bam picking him up, but Mr. Perfect with a fireman's carry, taking him off his feet. Mr. Perfect been in good form recently. They still can't get Bam Bam off his feet. Bam Bam just a kick to the midsection and a gut wrench suplex, taking him over. Bam Bam with a kick to the face, taking him to the mat, and now stomping on the back of his thigh, keeping Mr. Perfect on the canvas. Bam Bam getting him up, double hooked. Oh, backbreaker, what a modified backbreaker that was. Goes for the quick cover, just the one count on Mr. Perfect. Bam Bam looking all fired up in this one. Garcia's had the better of the opening segment of this match. Bam Bam now picking him up. Looking for a gut wrench suplex again, maybe. Tossing him over right onto that lower back. Now Mr. Perfect, the backdrop of his own, picking Bam Bam up. Needs to get some offense in, misses the right hand. Maybe he's a bit disorientated. Couldn't hit that right hand, but does get the sneaky pin. He's got him rolled up, could he get the victory? Just the two count. Bam Bam Bigelow is not gonna be happy about that as he takes Mr. Perfect to the ground and goes for the cover again. Just the one count. Bam Bam stalking Mr. Perfect. Now rubbing his head into the canvas and follows it up with an elbow drop to the middle of the back. Bam Bam Bigelow stomping away at Mr. Perfect, picking him up again. And look at the strength of Bam Bam Bigelow throwing Mr. Perfect about. Bam Bam now just picking him up by the head and slamming him back down on the canvas and goes for the cover again. Just the one count again. Mr. Perfect staying in this one just needs to show some offense though. Being absolutely manhandled by Bam Bam Bigelow. Bigelow takes him to the middle of the ring, picking him up. Look at the strength of Bigelow picking him up just to power bomb him back down. Bam Bam absolute monster now picking him up he's got him up on the shoulder and the Bam Bam slam and he hits it this one is surely done now Bam Bam going to the top maybe looking for the moonsault seems to be waiting a minute maybe a change of mind no he is going to do it he goes for it but Mr Perfect managing to get his knees up just in time that's got to be a painful one for Bam Bam Bigelow as he backhands him in the mouth, taking him up for the perfect plex. And he has, he's got it cinched in. Can he get the three? Just a two. Bam, bang, kick, Bigelow kicking out at two. Now, Mr. Perfect going right back at Bam Bam. You got to stay on top of him. Bam Bam, in, been in control for most of this match now. Is it time for Mr. Perfect to get some good shots in? Uh, Bam Bam slapping his arm away and takes him over for a running DDT. Bam Bam looks a little bit exhausted though, taking it to his time on one knee. Slowly getting up but giving Mr Perfect time to recover also. Bam Bam got in mind here, trying to take him to the ropes and he does. Picks him up and just throws him into those ring ropes. They are steel cables under there. That's got to hurt. And doing it for a second time. Really just throwing Mr. Perfect about. 
vicious stuff from Bam Bam Bigelow. Big right hand gets him against the ropes again and going for it for a third time and he does it again. Three times that man has been chucked into those steel ring ropes. Gotta be feeling the pain of that. Bam Bam really wearing the champion down. Now just wrenching at the neck. Got that headlock really cinched in. Just lets Mr. Perfect go though. Maybe that wasn't a wise decision. Well, again, going back to the manhandling of Mr. Perfect, just throwing him around, goes for the cover. Just the two count this time. Mr. Perfect somehow managing to stay in it, but Bam Bam Bigelow again, just picking him up from the ground. Bam Bam throwing him over. Look at that headbutt to the upper chest of Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect taking a leg for out from under him. He needs to do something in this match if he wants to hold on to that belt. And maybe a figure four leg lock could be that something. He's got Bam Bam in, but Bam Bam could turn him over. He just needs to get those hips up for his dead punches at the leg of Mr. Perfect. Double chop to the shoulders. Going for the Bam Bam slam again. And he hits it. All he needs to do is cover that man. Just cover him and it's done. But Bam Bam is not done with him just yet. Bam Bam could have been a new champion. Can he still be? Oh, 2.99 on that one. Mr. Perfect still managing to stay in it. And then Bam Bam Bigelow going up top. Maybe looking for another moonsault. Now this time, big headbutt off the top rope. And now goes for the cover. Surely it's done. It is Bam Bam Bigelow is your new YouTube champion. What a victory for that man. His first title here in SMW beating Mr. Perfect for the YouTube championship. Next up guys, Diesel versus the one, two, Three kid Diesel with a big victory over Yokozuna last week. Definitely in sights of that title shot for the Intercontinental Championship. This should be a walk in the park for Diesel as he just pushes the one, two, three kid away from him. Kick to the midsection and a nice neck breaker. Diesel now slamming the one, two, three kid's head against the canvas. He goes for the quick cover. Not so easy it seems for Diesel. Not going to be done that quick. Missed left hand but hits the head but taking the one, two, three kid down. Now just slamming his head on that canvas again. Really messing with his kid. Look at this, the viciousness of the attack from Diesel. Wants to waste no more energy than is needed on this kid. Saving it up for that title match he wants with Yokozuna. One, two, three, kid with a jawbreaker. Getting Diesel off of him. Hits a big right, putting Diesel on the ropes. Takes him across the ring. Jumps over. Hits the heel kick on Diesel. Not sure Diesel expected that. And now taking him over for a monkey flip. I say one, two, three, kid has been impressive in his time here. Not got many wins under his belt, but very athletic, very quick. Nice knee to the lower back of Diesel. Goes for the cover. Not even a one count. Big forearms taking Diesel back. Goes for the kick. Diesel grabs the leg and tries to take it out from under him. But one, two, three kid with another elbow to the face of Diesel. Nice spear. Back flip into a second spear. This kid is so quick. Taking Diesel out of the corner. Sit out, power bomb. One, two, three, kid. Actually looking in control of the big man. Big daddy cool diesel. Takes him to the corner again. Goes for a little spear. Now taking him to the ground. Going up top. Backflip. Moonsault. Off the middle rope. Get that covering, kid. Cover diesel now. Taking too long. Takes him to the corner again. And then shoving Diesel into the ring post. 
One, two, three, kids. So impressive. Sit out power bomb again. One, two, three, kid. Absolutely taking it to Diesel. Now maybe looking for the surfboard. Oh no, just stomping on the back of the thighs of Diesel. And now the one, two, three, kid going up top. What's he got in mind? Maybe calling for Diesel to get up. Looking for the crossbody. Hits the crossbody and he's got under him. Look at this pin. Diesel could not get out of this, surely. And he doesn't. The 1 2 3 kid has beat Diesel and may have just put himself into the Intercontinental title picture. What a victory for the kid. What a match. Diesel has got to be distraught with that one. Here we go guys, the Brotherhood, Mark Jones, Bobby Baker, going up against the Bushwhackers, Butch and Luke. Another obstacle for the Brotherhood to get over, we've got Butch starting the match off with Bobby Baker. Bobby Baker just driving his face in to the canvas. Now Bobby Baker, big knee, shoving his head into it and just Taunting Luke on the ring apron. Kicking Butch down to the mat. Bobby Baker been hit and miss while he's been here in SMW. Definitely the smallest man we have is Butch taking him up for a suplex. Look at the ease of Butch holding him up. That delayed suplex on Bobby Baker and Butch tagging Luke in. Bushwhacker Luke now. Stomping away at Bobby Baker. It's on top of him. Big left hands there. Really taking it to Bobby Baker. Wrenching away at Bobby's neck. Bobby manages to slip out from under it. We have seen Bobby is quite quick with his feet, but Bushwhackers really taking it to him. Luke just guillotining him on the top of them ropes. Now taking him to the corner. Nice spear in the corner, taking him to the ground. Now just stomping away, shoving his knee into the neck of Bobby Baker. Again, picking Bobby Baker up. Nice forearm, but Bobby just, just took it. Now trying to take Luke over to the ring. Wants to make that tag to Mark Jones. But Luke not letting him. Luke got him in, got him in a triangle choke. Will Bobby Baker tap? Will he get out of it? Baker getting up. Oh, some nice lefts to the jaw of Bushwhacker Luke. Managing to get up. Kick to the midsection. DDT taking Luke down. Goes for the cover. One, two. Not even a two count. Bobby Baker just now on top of Luke. Pounding away, but let's see this choke hold again, guys. Look at this takedown from Luke, and then got the choke hold in somehow. Bobby Baker managing to get out of it somehow. Look at that, those right hands to the jaw. And as we get back to the action, Bobby Baker's got Luke in the corner, kicks his leg out from under him, goes to the middle rope. Canadian destroyer taking Bushwhacker Luke out, surely. That's going to be the three count. Butch running in. Butch breaking it up. Bobby Baker slapping Butch for, for his sins. Takes him over with a German suplex. What's Bobby Baker going to do now? Bobby taking him to the corner. Hits the running forearm into the corner. On Luke. Misses the forearm. Backflips out of it. Bobby Baker looking in good form here. Now making the tag to Mark Jones. Mark Jones off the middle. Double axe handle to the arm. Turning him round. Maybe looking for the Mark 2. If he hits this, this one's got to be over. Surely he can't hit a Canadian Destroyer and the Mark 2. And be living to tell the tale. And there you go. The three count. 
Butch managing to take out the referee just after the three count. But the Brotherhood are your winners. A great victory for those men. Maybe look into Harlem Heat, see if they can get those titles off of them. number one contender coming down with Jim Neinhart Bret Hart will be having a shot at that title at some point in the future but for now we get Macho Man versus Jim Macho Man goes straight over takes him down to the ground big kick to the chest and now he's on top big big left hands from Randy Savage and then stomping on him for good measure Turning Jim over, wrenching at Jim's neck. Really wrenching away. Wearing the big man down and then just slams his head into the canvas. Macho man running up top. Maybe looking for a double axe hand. He was going to go for the far corner. But decided to go up to where Brett is. Show him how it's done. Double axe handle off the top. And then again, going to the corner where Brett is standing. You know he's doing that on purpose. Going for the elbow drop. Will we see it? This one could be the shortest match we've seen. And he's missed the elbow off the top. Jim Neinhart managing to get out of the way just in time. As he takes Macho Man to the corner. But Macho Man elbowing his way out. Now, what's he got in mind? Taking Jim up for a suplex. Look at the strength the core muscles it takes to do that kind of suplex where you stand still for a moment he's back up top looking for the elbow drop for a second time and he hits it this time surely this one's over making quick work of the anvil stick a fork in that man he is done and that guy right there is your SMW world heavyweight champion and it's going to take a lot for Brett to take it off him. It's time for the main event. It's for that belt right there. The SMW Women's Champion. It's an eight-woman battle royale. Wendy Richer, Fabulous Mula, Mad Maxine, Misty Blue, Princess Victoria, Rockin' Robin, Sensational Sherry, and Alandra Blaze. Now, the last woman standing in this match will be crowned the SMW Women's Champion. Each competitor must be thrown over the top rope. There is no pinfalls in this battle. And let's see who will be the first ever SMW Women's Champion. I think Alondra Blaze has got to be the odds on favorite. And that's what it's about, that championship right there. As we kick things off, Mad Maxine goes straight for Robin, Robin Fabulous Luna goes straight for Misty Blue. These two trying to make early eliminations. See if they can get it done. Princess Victoria goes straight after Sensational. So Sherry keeping some focus on her. Mad Maxine taking Rock and Robin to the break. Misses the big boot. Misty Blue taking it to the Fabulous Luna. Wendy Richard just posing, maybe wasting some time there. Sensational Sherry with a big back shot. Sensational Sherry with the first elimination, getting rid of Princess Victoria. Sensational Sherry might be the surprise package as Wendy Richard got the line blaze on the top rope, looking for the elimination of Rockin' Robin. Has Mad Maxine against the ring's ring, uh, apron as well. Back in, taking it to Misty Blue. Alondra Blaze, big backdrop to Wendy Richer. Misty Blue fighting Mad Maxine in the middle. We've got Rock and Robin slapping Mad Maxine by mistake there. I think he's looking for Sensational Sherry. Alondra Blaze with Fabulous Moolah in the corner. Can she get her eliminated? Really trying to get her up on all-star turnbuckle, but Fabulous Mula with an elbow to the head on Alondra Blaze. 
rocking Robin trying to get rid of Sensational Sherry over the top and there goes Fabulous Nuna Alondra Blaze making easy work just clotheslining her over the top right that is one elimination for Alondra Blaze one elimination for Sensational Sherry only six women left in this match now Mad Vaccine Alondra Blaze rocking Robin Sensational Sherry Wendy Reacher and Misty Blue Misty Blue against the ropes Taking it to Wendy Richard, Wendy Richard with a kick to the midsection. Sensational show with another elimination, getting rid of Rockin' Robin. Two eliminations now for Sensational Sherry. And now just choking Misty Blue on those ropes and dragging her back in. Hitting Wendy Richard. Sensational show with it all. I thought that was a third elimination there for Sensational Sherry. But Wendy Richard managing to hang on in there. Now it's the third elimination for Sensational Sherry. She has been on fire in this one. Matt Maxine with a big chop to Alandra Blaze's head. Misty Blue looking to eliminate Sensational Sherry. Gets her over the top, but she's managing to hang on. Trying to kick her off the apron, but... Sensational Sherry hanging on. Just... Mad Maxine just sitting on the chest of Landra Blaze. Now Misty Blue, Sensational Sherry, but Sensational Sherry drop, stops the kick, managing to stop the elimination. Now Mad Maxine with Landra Blaze, picking up, look at the strength of Mad Maxine, throwing Landra Blaze over the top rope, and that is the favourite gone. I think it's either Sensational Sherry or Mad Maxine now for the favourite. Sensational Sherry with a big running splash. Three eliminations she has so far. Can she make it four? Even better, five, and she will be the new women's champion. Mad Maxine, big chop to the head of Sensational Sherry, just pushing her to the ground. Pick Sensational Sherry back up. Takes her to the ropes. Sensational Sherry is gone now, it's just Mad Maxine and Misty Blue, Misty Blue hits the knee to the midsection, going up top, hits the splash off the top, Misty Blue could be the surprise package here and get the win over Mad Maxine, one of these two women is going to be our first ever SMW Women's Champion, what an insane eight woman battle royale we have had, Misty Blue takes her, all she needs to do is clothesline her and she's the champion, and Mad Maxine ducks, Misty Blue's over and Mad Maxine is the new SMW Women's Champion thanks for watching guys don't forget to like the episode and if you aren't already please make sure you subscribe I have been your host Wes Lynn we'll see you right here, same time, same place next week on Sunday Morning Wrestling <laughs>